Hi, my name is Rulo Voss and I'm the instructor for the course Aerodynamic Design of Transport Aircraft as part of the KU Aerospace Short Course Program. I'm also an assistant professor of Delft University of Technology and author of the textbook Introduction to Transonic Aerodynamics. In this course you learn how aerodynamics drive the detailed exterior design of transport aircraft. What aerodynamic phenomena play a role in the exterior design of a wing, a cockpit or an engine intake? And what is the effect of aerodynamic add-ons such as vortex generators, fairings or winglets? And what are the advantages and penalties of wing sweep? And how can the penalties be mitigated by the aerodynamic design of the wing? Those are the type of questions that are being addressed in this course. You learn to understand how the various aircraft components should be shaped in order to fulfill aerodynamic requirements in all corners of the flight envelope. I will demonstrate the strong ties between aerodynamic performance, aircraft aerodynamics and aircraft exterior design through numerous historical examples and contemporary examples. Although the main focus is on jet aircraft, I also cover the effects of propeller installation on the aerodynamic design of the tail surfaces. The development of advanced aerodynamic analysis tools gives us the opportunity to predict the aerodynamic performance of the aircraft or its subcomponents. However, it is equally important to understand the limitations of those tools and to develop an intuition for aerodynamic design without resorting to high fidelity CFD. Therefore, the focus of this course is on the qualitative analysis of aerodynamics rather than the quantitative analysis. This course offers a unique opportunity to develop an understanding between the external shape and aerodynamic performance without resorting to numerical tools. While starting with the basics of two-dimensional flow about profiles, we progressively zoom out to the wing and the full aircraft. Because we are considering transport aircraft, we include the effect of flying at high Reynolds and Mach numbers from the very beginning. Transonic flow characteristics and their effect on aerodynamic performance is therefore an important aspect of the course. I will explain how these effects limit the aircraft performance in terms of speed and lifting capability at high Mach numbers and what design measures can be taken to mitigate these effects. But did you know that transonic effects can also limit the lifting capability at low Mach numbers, for example at landing speeds? Flow over wing leading edges or slats can accelerate to supersonic speeds effectively limiting the lifting capacity of the wing. I will present good practices for the design of high lift devices such as flaps and slats. The aerodynamic design of the aircraft determines the aerodynamic performance of the aircraft at low and high speeds. At high speeds I will show how the aerodynamic performance changes when the Mach number gets close to 1. I will explain the causes for drag creep and drag divergence and in addition I will present the mechanics of high speed buffet and its effect on the service ceiling of transport aircraft. We will also investigate how the stability and control properties change when an aircraft accelerates towards the dive Mach number. I will show why virtually all modern transport aircraft and business aircraft that cruise at high Mach numbers require an all-moving tailplane. Finally, I will demonstrate how wing design parameters influence the aerodynamic and flight performance at these high Mach numbers. In addition to the state of the art in aerodynamic design, I also discussed the impact of new technologies on the aerodynamic performance of the aircraft. This includes the aeroelastic effects of flexible composite wings on the aerodynamic efficiency of the wing and the control effectiveness of ailerons. Additionally, we will investigate the challenging contradictions that exist in designing a swept wing with extensive laminar flow. Finally, we look at the integration challenges that arise from the introduction of progressively larger turbofan engines. After you have followed this course, you will have a better understanding of why modern transport aircraft look the way they do and what physical limitations affect their flight performance at low and high speeds. I welcome everybody that has an interest in deepening their knowledge on aircraft aerodynamics to follow this course and become an expert in the aerodynamic design of transport aircraft.